Cain Velasquez arrested following shooting booked on attempted murder charge, AJ Styles answers Edge's WrestleMania challenge, Kevin Owens on re-signing with WWE. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo, you're watching the latest and we're going to kick things off with the biggest story of the day surrounding Kane Velasquez being arrested. Here is the story. TMZ Sports reports that Kane Velasquez has been booked on an attempted murder charge after being involved in a shooting that took place in San Jose, California on Monday. The report from TMZ Sports read, UFC legend Kane Velasquez spent Monday night in jail. TMZ Sports has confirmed the 39-year-old has been arrested and booked on an attempted murder charge. Details surrounding the specifics of his arrest are unclear, though law enforcement sources tell us that the former fighter was involved in a shooting in San Jose at around 3 p.m. near a local high school. In the alleged incident, one person was shot while another was arrested. Nothing further surrounding the circumstances of the situation has been released. Jail records show Velasquez is still in custody as of Tuesday morning and has a court date set for Wednesday at noon. And a report from NBC Bay Area stated, People were asked to avoid the area after the shooting as police conducted the investigation. Velasquez is currently being held without bail. The former WWE AAA and UFC star Kane Velasquez has been booked into Santa Clara County Jail in San Jose, California following the shooting. The former UFC heavyweight champion Velasquez left mixed martial arts in 2019 and started to make appearances for Lucha Libre AAA. He signed with WWE in October of 2019, building to a match between himself and Brock Lesnar at Crown Jew in Saudi Arabia, which Velasquez lost. He was later released due to budget cuts in April of 2020. This is a developing story, so be on the lookout for more details. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and hop into a major WrestleMania match that has been made. Take a look. AJ Styles accepted Edge's challenge for a match at WrestleMania 38. It all went down on last night's Monday Night Raw. Edge came out and asked someone in the locker room to challenge him. Styles arrived and told Edge he would accept. When confronting him on the microphone, Edge said that he wanted the Bulldog Styles, not the Styles who had been teaming with Omos for the last year. Edge extended his hand as Styles went to extend his, but Edge ended up jumping Styles. When Styles fought back and went for the phenomenal forearm, Edge dodged and low blowed Styles. He then took two steel chairs and eventually gave Styles two concertos to close out the show. And I'm kind of glad that Edge had a heel turn on last night's Raw because let's face it, the man is always mad. It was bound to happen and I'm glad that it finally is. Either way, let us know, is Edge versus AJ Styles a dream match for you? Let us know in the comments section. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and talk about the brand new US Champion. Finn Balor defeated Damian Priest to win the United States Championship on WWE Raw. After the match, Priest cut a promo that credited the fans for carrying Balor to the title win, then blaming the fans for not giving him the same respect during his title run. Priest then attacked Balor and hit a razor's edge onto the announcer's table. So it looks as though the program between the two will continue. And let's be real, this is the best thing that has happened to Finn Balor on quite some time since leaving NXT after being NXT champion and moving up to the main roster. This feud with Damon Priest could be the best thing for them in quite some time. But now, here's an update on Johnny Gargano. Take a look. Following the birth of his son, Johnny Gargano is now open to taking bookings for appearances. The 34-year-old Gargano took to Twitter yesterday to reveal his contact information for such opportunities. He also commented on his decision to remain a free agent at this time, saying, quote, I wanted to be a free agent at this time for a few reasons. One, Candace and Quill. Two, the freedom to selectively pick and choose the things I want to do for a bit. Gargano and his wife, NXT wrestler Candice LeRae, welcomed the birth of their first child earlier this month. Quill Gargano was born on February 17th after LeRae had been in labor for more than 24 hours. Gargano's WWE contract expired on December 10th. In his final appearance on NXT before the expiration of his contract, Gargano addressed his future before being attacked and put through a table by Grayson Waller. Since then, people were wondering what was going to happen with Johnny Gargano. Was he going to take time off, be a dad, then come back to WWE? Was he going to go straight to AEW? Was he going to go elsewhere? 
what was he gonna do? Well, from the looks of it, he's going to be a free agent as of right now. And speaking of contracts and decisions, Kevin Owens made a big one to re-sign with WWE. Well, in a recent interview, he stated his reasons as to why. During an appearance on Fox Sports out of character with Ryan Sadden, Kevin Owens elaborated on his decision to re-sign with WWE. It was revealed in December that Owens had signed a new multi-year contract with WWE. His previous contract was set to expire at the end of January. Dave Meltzer reported that Owens' new deal is a three-year agreement that is in the range of two to three million per year. Owens said that he re-signed with WWE a couple of weeks or a few weeks before it was reported. When asked about whether or not this was an easy decision, Kevin Owens said, quote, I mean, WWE really didn't let me think about it much in terms of they made it clear they wanted me to stay. Adding that he made the agreement with Vince himself, Kevin Owens said, quote, I dealt with Vince directly and he made it clear he wanted me to stay, and we made an agreement right then and there. While many people thought it was only a matter of time till Kevin Owens left the company, turns out he's having a good time. This is what he said. I'm there now for a couple more years and I'm going to do my best to get opportunities and knock them out of the park and reap the benefits. As I've documented before, there's ups and downs to this thing, to WWE, to wrestling, to the industry. I feel like I'm on a really great upswing right now and I'm enjoying what I do. Like I'm really enjoying myself a lot lately. And last but not least for this episode, a quick update to all of our West Coast AEW fans. AEW is officially headed to Hollywood. Well, Inglewood and Ontario to be a little bit more specific, but they are making their Los Angeles debut. Here is the info. It was announced yesterday that the Wednesday, June 1st episode of Dynamite will be held at the Forum in Inglewood, California. The Dynamite episode will be the first ever AEW show to take place in California. It was also announced that the Toyota Arena in Ontario, California will host the Double or Nothing Fallout edition of Rampage on Friday, June 3rd. In an interview with Variety, Tony Khan said that AEW's next step, now that they're running a coast-to-coast -to -coast tour, is to reach fans across the world. Well, there you go, some quick updates in the world of professional wrestling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment your thoughts, and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo. You can follow me on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo, and I'll see you on the next video. Before you head out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure to check out our previous story on Cesaro leaving WWE.